All right, good morning. So this is not uh, a normal science video. There's definitely science applications in this, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to change the brakes on my truck. So the way brakes work is they turn kinetic energy, motion, mechanical, into thermal. And as we know that energy cannot be created or destroyed, there needs to be a 100% transfer from one form to another form. So if the first form is motion, like moving this 4,000 pound truck really fast, it's gotta create a lot of heat. And the whole point of a brake system is designed to brake the car as efficiently as possible while dissipating that heat. And the hotter things get, the less efficient the brakes get. So if your brakes, if you're riding your brakes a lot, or if you're braking very rapidly a lot, you have less brakes. So these are the brake pads. So this is a metallic surface. Um, there's usually some uh, other like rock-like material in here. So it's a, it's a composite of stuff. And this is going to rub against this. This is called the rotor. So there's my old rotor. And this brake ran like this, much like the brakes on your, uh, on your bike. So this, very similar. So on, on your bike, you might have brake pads like that. Those are rubber brake pads and they rub against this piece right here. This, this piece right here, this, this metal piece. I have disc brakes on my bike. So this works very similar. You have this disc right here and then there's two pads in here that squeeze together and it creates the friction. So this is the old pad. Uh, and it wasn't totally worn out. It was squeaking a little bit. And I went with a, an upgraded, since I tow, I wanted something that will better stop. So this right here rubs along like that. So what we do is we replace the rotor. That's this thing right here. And the, the brake pads, those are my new brake pads. Um, and in addition to a variety of, of other tweaks, cleaning things, um, Specifically, I'm gonna show you uh, right here. So this, this, this caliper, this piston right here. So there is hydraulic fluid inside of the truck. When I hit the brakes, this fluid, and fluids we know can't compress. So we take this fluid, and no matter how hard I push that, that fluid, unlike a gas, gas compresses easily, that fluid won't compress. It pushes these pistons, which go out like that, and push two brake pads against this rotor. So we've had to lubricate things, make sure everything is flowing nicely without any, uh, without any friction, and we have the brake pads here. Now, to tighten these, I'm gonna use this thing called a torque wrench. So this is designed to give me a very specific amount of force measured in foot-pounds or newton meters. So we learned about newtons last year with uh, force. So this is the amount of force over a given distance. And that's gonna tell me how much I have to, how much energy I have to put into tightening these bolts. And that's an important thing because of course we don't want our brakes coming apart while we're driving. Now you'll notice a couple little differences here. So the old brake pads and the new brake pads, there's not a lot of difference. Um, so you have a metallic-y substance here, metallic-y substance there, but the rotors are the, the big difference. So you have drilled holes and slits. And what this does is it helps dissipate the heat and keeps the brake working longer. So if I have to emergency brake, this is gonna work really well. So we're placing the brakes, hopefully this will work better. And uh, we have thermal energy, heat distribution, force, Newton meters, pressure, and all of these things in this science component. Bye.